try to put guys in the best situation to be successful. And and but he's he is a target force, and we have not thought of you know forgotten about Jake. And he caught that nice ball over the middle last week and caught the uh, third down conversion. Uh, so uh, he can do it. We have him. I'm glad that he's on our team. Did Devian practice yesterday? Yeah, okay. he was out there. Yeah. So, he, so him limping off at the end of the game, that's not he, going to affect him this week? I don't think so. He was out there practicing. He did a nice job. He had a nice uh, blitz pickup. I saw that he picked up a guy and he ran the ball well. And uh, not that of my knowledge. You see Joe Carriage continuing to press, progress as a blocker? Yeah, he's doing yeah. a good job. Him and Sione are doing a nice job in there. And, uh, you know, we're glad to have Henry back this week. And uh, But Joey's doing a nice job. He's, you know, I think the. Uh, Think that he's working through with his ankle and things. I think that's gone, and and uh, he's really pressing forward. And he's doing a great job leading this team, being a team captain. What has Graham Glasgow meant to this offensive line? It's been your most consistent performance. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, meant a lot to us. It really has. Um, like I said, you know, Grant's a very, very intelligent young man. Uh, both of his parents are doctors. I mean, so he's he's uh, been a nice job, you know, being raised and 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 in the room. He really helps just with fixing a problem like you know you stand up there as a coach you go through teaching a play of you know hey this is the point of uh, entry uh, this is the blocking scheme this is what we're looking this is how we're going to do it uh, you know these are the adjustments hey they bring this pressure then we got to co- make this call uh, but then Grant goes to the fourth step hey coach what if this happens hey Grant or Graham that's great that's that's exactly what we're thinking about uh, and so he helps he's like another coach in the room because you want a room to take it over and then ask those other questions the next step maybe as a teacher that you left out but you're going to get to it maybe later in the week but he presents the problem right now to get a fix so everybody's on the same page when they leave the room how are guys like gentry and corn and guys that aren't part of the you know the game package right now able to learn and absorb while you're going through a season like this uh i think that we do a good job just preaching in the room about, you know, either you're getting better or you're getting worse, you're never staying the same. And um, Coach Harbaugh uh, really does a good job with about a competitive atmosphere about competing. We're going to roll the balls out every day and compete. And you got to be locked in. I mean, you're going to be called on in the room to answer a question. And so uh, there's no wiggle room for them not to be focused and keep getting better every day. And everybody's getting coached. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're a scholarship guy and you're a starter or if you're a walk-on. It's our job and, and our due diligence as a football coach to be respectful of the game, what this game's given us, and to get the best out of everybody and make them better human beings and better football players. So I'm excited when I walk in this building every day. You is know, your, Is your longer-term view for Gentry at quarterback still? I think so, yeah. And we'll, we'll evaluate that as that goes on, you know, and as we get enter into spring ball and, and the boys.